here to boxes and in extended I can copy that font the style of the font and the size of the font to all the lines with one click of the button so clicking the minimizer you see now that all my font is identically the same okay? now how could you avoid that extra step very easily by typing out your first line of text our trip add all the changes you want so we go into style here and we could add a color okay we can take an uh, a deep blue color here and and then take the outline and make it a, a a brighter blue on the outline by selecting the color blue and come up here and make it a very bright blue that becomes the edge or the outline and then we could go ahead and add a drop shadow and we can we can shade that drop shadow as well to give it a, a hint of blue as well okay so our trip I don't really like how that looks in the in the finished product um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, the nice thing about this too and this is going to come in handy with the new feature in Smart Edit 6 I can archive uh, particular color changes that I make so I can select a, a different color blue and that's a little bit cleaner and I want a much darker drop shadow so very very dark drop shadow on this okay. looks looks a little bit nicer now I can come here and if if I really really like that style that I've that I've changed with my titling here I can archive or save that okay in fact the developers gave us uh, several right on your system you may not even know it's there but by going to style in your title menu clicking on archives and load a new style you can click on gold so you have a gold font with your system now once you get that on one line of text if you want to impart it to the others you go again to boxes extended and then copy that style to all the lines so now we have that same kind of gold style happening to the to the whole line but you know as attractive as that might be in some scenes that doesn't really fit what I'm after here so I'm gonna go to archives and uh, load uh, the ice for example and the nice thing too is we can take that and embellish that I can take that and and change what the developer started with and and make it fit what I'm doing even more attractively again go to boxes extended copy that style to all the lines our trip to the aquarium there's a whole set of features under boxes and pages we have the capability to add graphics uh, right now I can preview and see what that looks like so see how it slowly fades in and at the end of the scene it will slowly fade out before that scene is done okay. I can click OK and I've just previewed it so if I'm happy with it I would go ahead and click on the creator render button now it will finish it out taking my title now the time of this title you see over here on the left side is six seconds and 16 frames the base scene is 716 but one second of that scene is taken up by this transition here if I would have used that scene function previously we could put that title over this whole scene or over the whole range of scenes it's 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 up to you how you want to make that happen but let's take a full screen look at, at the capabilities of the title. So it starts, it fades in the text, and you see the text right on top of the full motion video, the audio coming through as well, and then it works its way. Now, that's a question I get asked a lot as well is, Chet, how come it just showed me that title and then it stopped? I wanted to see the rest of my presentation. Well, it's actually doing what I told it to because we're right now in the title menu, so it's only going to show or preview the titles that we change. If we want to see the whole production, we come back here to the edit screen, and now we play it back and now we'll see the the title screen and then it will crossfade or transition into the next scene as that finishes okay so quick taste of the title menu there is one great feature that's new in in smart edit 6 and I want to show it because I think it's a very valuable important feature we now have the capability to bring in text that you may have created on your computer and that's this new little icon here we have the capability to bring in text off of a CD or DVD connected to a FireWire hard drive, or if I had my USB jump drive, my USB thumb drive attached, my USB flash drive, I simply connect that to the USB port of my Casablanca, and if I have saved a page of text in my Mac or my PC as a Unicode or ASCII file, 
it will bring that up. So that enables you to use grammar check and spell check. It lets you take um, you know, a text file. If you do dance recitals, for example, you have 122 dancer names. You get that from the dance teacher, bring that in, and you can add that to your titler in a very, very quick amount of time. And we'll go ahead and re-render that. Uh, and the reason it, it became unrendered is I went to enter edit text. So we go ahead and create or render that title. And um, now that we're done exploring the beginnings, at least, of the title menu, we're going to come on back to the main menu and work our way to the last two menus here, the audio record and edit, and then the audio mix. The audio record and edit menus is, is where you bring your audio, you bring your sound in, and there's a number of, of choices and features available to you here. If you're bringing new sound in, first you want to check and make sure uh, to tell your Casablanca how you're bringing that sound in. On the Gymnos, the Rename, the Rename Plus, the Prestige, the Solitaire, the Solitaire Plus, you have a front microphone input. Uh, if you're on the other models, uh, you would have these uh, front and rear. Those are the RCA or phono jacks, the red and white connectors where you would plug a uh, cassette player, a CD player. You have a, a you know, variety of choices. The output of a, of a VCR, the you know, audio outputs of a camera, lots of choices. You could also connect via, via FireWire. So I have my Sony camera still connected. And on that, you can you could run a microphone through there, but most folks would play back footage. If you have a footage of an event, if you have an interview, for example, you can bring in just the audio by selecting that in this menu here. It's also important to note that uh, on, on many of the newer products, as long as you're using the analog inputs, not the, not the DV, not the fireware, but the analog inputs, you do have the capability to shape the sound somewhat by adjusting the treble and bass. Now again, I'd urge I'd urge care when doing this. Uh, I'm not saying don't use it, but be careful. Some people who are not familiar with these controls can, can render a sound less than pleasant by, by overusing these. So it is something that is, is made and useful, but again, exercise care when you're using that. Um, the other really, really cool capability, and that's, that's on all the Casablanca systems that have the internal DVD drive, not only can you burn DVDs, but you can import CDs and, and export audio CDs as well. I'm going to show you how to bring in a song using your DVD drive. First of all, go ahead and, and open up your tray, and that opens up the DVD drawer. You put in your, your CD, and today I have uh, uh, one of the CDs from the Music to Hughes collection. We carry that. It's royalty-free music, which means you can use it in any of your com productions, whether you're a hobbyist or a professional without worry of uh, copyright issues. And it is all instrumental, so you don't have to worry about lyrics getting in the way of, of your program material. And then you click this button here. It's, uh, you're telling the Casablanca, I'm bringing in audio from CD. And then clicking Display Contents will allow you to see the different uh, choices of songs on your CD. Most of, of, the, of the CDs will just list the track number and, and the length of that particular song. Some, depending on how it was encoded by the recording studio, may have the name of the song. But there is a preview function, and this is brand new for Smart Edit 6. We have the capability, previously you could just listen to a five second clip of the beginning of a song. But now you can turn the intro time off if you have that desire. But you can also listen to extended time, so I can listen to a, a song for 20 seconds. So as soon as you click on a song, it'll play the first 20 seconds of that clip. Now I should also point out that go ahead I can turn that off. I should also point out that the first time you put a CD in, if you click display contents right away, the, the drive might not have the disk up to speed and so it won't recognize and it'll say no disk, uh, disk read error. That's okay. Pause for a second. You can actually look on your DVD drive and you'll see a light flashing there and you'll get used to hearing the sound. When you know the disk's up to speed, then click on display CD contents. I'm going to go ahead and, and switch this to 11 seconds. And if I found a song that I really liked, okay, that's, that's, that's a two minutes, 17 seconds and two frames. I like the shorter version of that, so I can go ahead and I could say just import that track. And it's going to import that, that one minute song into my audio bin so I can use that in my production. 
And we've had that capability since this feature was enabled with Casablanca. But here's a brand new feature, and I love this. I call this the checklist function. 